may know her from Nip Tuck, that series on TV, or the movie Taken. But it's the X-Men movies that are her biggest hits so far. We're talking about Dutch actress Fomke Johnson. Jansen. F M Maleficent. <laughs> Right now, it's still at the top of the box office, but can it hold on? <laughs> I recently had the chance to talk with Famka about the movie and her role in it. Now I'm just showing off. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Famka, tell everyone, of course, about your role in X-Men Days of Future Past, which, by the way, is a huge hit. It's... I know, it's, it's the biggest one of all the, the X-Men movies we've had so far, uh, which is really quite an incredible achievement, I think, given the fact that, you know, they've been around for 14 years now wow. since we did our first one. Uh, and, uh, you know, th this doesn't happen very often that they get better and more successful rather than the reverse. So I'm extremely proud to be part of, have been part of this for the last 14 years. Uh, Jean Grey, we've seen come and go over, you know, those 14 years with the introduction of the, in the first movie. And then, um, in X-Men 2, she sacrifices herself, uh, to save all the other X-Men, only to come back in the third one, um, and then to be killed again because she would destroy the universe, um, with her, you know, as the Phoenix when she comes back. And Wolverine, so tor tormented by this act, uh, then somehow brings her back in whatever we want to call this in the Wolverine and dream sequences or whatever. Uh, and so we've seen this constant death and resurrection with her, but I think what's really interesting about this new installment, Days of Future Past, is that not only with the Jean Grey character can we potentially see different things happening with her in the future, even though she's died and resurrected, but other characters as well, in the way that it's set up with, you know, if one travels back to the past to alter the future. Hmm. And that's a wonder, you it know. It sets it up for, yeah, movie anything can happen. Movie go moviegoers love that. That's like the ultimate, you know. What, could, what would you change if you could go back? Oh. Right? Well, I, I mean, know. These are, these are really good questions. Of what you, <laughs> what would you, because everything, it's like a ripple effect, of course. Because mm -hmm. when you change one thing, everything else is going to change. And some of these things that... You know, the initial thing where you feel that you made a mistake may actually the outcome later on in life may have been as a result of that. I mean, who knows? So it's it's difficult to really think that through of what, what would you change? I got to ask you, change anything. I have to ask you this. You know, this is a, a the, the series is so uh, it's sci fi. It's it's fantasy. It's it's drama. It's romance. It's comedy. Um, it's a big package. It's a whole lot for a viewer to take in all at once when they go to the theater. But that is you think maybe that's part of the success of X-Men after I, all these years. I do. It's not just one I do. genre. I, no, it's, it's, and I don't know that it's not just that it's not one genre, but of course, overall, you know, since the, the first, you know, one 14 years ago, that, like, when it came out, and it was extremely successful at the time, and I think because, you know, what we'd, from that moment on, what we sort of, up until then, what we'd seen was that comic book heroes were these larger-than-life, you know, glitzy characters right. that we were fantastic but not entirely relatable necessarily whereas at the in the beginning Brian Singer our director really said this is what I want to do with this franchise right. I want to make these people just like anybody else people who are different well, people they're relatable who are I love struggling that. in life and yeah. they're very relatable Famka, and so thank you. yes I mean it, it, okay thank you so much Famka, it's so wonderful to talk to you I wish we had more time cuz I love okay, how you Okay me think. too next time This is the philosophy <laughs> behind X-Men I love it thank you so much Famka. Bye All have right. a great day